What is going on, everybody? Thank you again for coming back to another video. I appreciate all of you who've been watching it, even if it's just for a quick minute, two minutes. I appreciate it. Hopefully, 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 you know, it's able to help in any sort of way. You know, whatever you guys may be going through, something similar, you know, the exact same thing, whatever it may be, you know, hopefully, you know, I'm able to at least give you some better insight, inspiration, motivation, whatever it may be just to help you process this because this is this is gonna be a long journey. I, I know I know from experience I'm dealing with it and it's only been a few weeks, but it feels like I feel like it feels like it just kept happened yesterday. It's like so many things has happened within the allotted time. It's like, you know, you kind of fail to realize like, wait, it's not even been a month yet. And it's just been so many things that has happened and you, know, you go through so many different emotions day to day that you know you, you fail to realize it's still new it's still fresh and i was having trouble with that because i would almost beat myself up some days where it's like you know i'm feeling so down so like you know un uninspired to do anything and i started to beat myself up like come on i gotta get up i gotta go i gotta snap out of it like i can't it can't be like this and I had to check myself and realize, like, it's just, it's still new. You're still, I'm still processing. I'm always going to be, you know, really processing it. But, you know, in some cases, you don't really feel it and go into even like a darker state until like a year after something like this has happened, you know. And I've just been feeling like depressed and all these just different things, which is not usually me. I don't let these things overtake me. And I started to just have this almost like, once I felt bad for myself, I started almost like to hate myself in a way, like, come on, get up, get out of bed, you know, because I didn't want to get up for the, what day, I forgot, a couple of days ago, I didn't even want to get up out of bed. I did not want to do anything, you know. Uh, I took something to, to make me just pass out and I didn't want to get up, you know, I just had this just this weight on me. It's like, I just can't, I don't want to do it today. You know, I don't want to go outside. I don't want to deal with anybody. I don't want to see anybody. I don't want to do any of that. And it's, it's partially because I feel like I have to be careful in a way because I have so much emotions built up. And that's why I try to talk on these videos and talk to people uh, whenever I can, because they have so much pent up emotion and, and mixture of this anger, sadness and things like that, where I feel I'm just going to, you know, just flip out and I have to just be very mindful and just even just and just careful. And a friend of mine reached out to me and he went through something similar and he's he's been able to help me, you know, just have a better understanding of all of this, because, you know, I appreciate that everyone is sending condolences and things like that. But what I don't like is where people try to, you know, don't ask me how I'm doing. Like that, I think I said that in the video before, like a lot of times some people are going through this, they don't want you to ask them, how are you doing? That is really like the last thing that they want you to ask because what's the obvious answer? You know, I feel like crap, I feel terrible. You know, you want me to say I have a good day when my mother just died. Like, how can I, you know, like, but speaking to someone who relate, who went through the same thing, I was able to just to relate a little bit more. And he just had, he just understood what I was going through. And it kind of helped me because, you know, it changes you and it's been changing me mentally. And, you know, it's been making me go to a darker place. And he went through the same thing. And it just felt, it made me feel like, okay, at least I'm not alone on this because I was just getting concerned like that. My mind is just, I'm losing it. And, I especially lose it when I think of, like, I, I was going uh, through her stuff, just kind of like starting to gather things together, you know, and just kind of just have a little organization. And I found like a stack of pictures of her and I when I was like super young. And I just, the tears just started just to come on, you know, it just immediately, I, I was like, once, once I found it, once I found these pictures, I didn't even have to look at the first picture and I was just like, oh, here, here it comes. And, you know, the tears come and then the anger comes, you know, the grief comes, you, you just start going down that roller coaster. 
And something that I've been doing, it's like when I go through those mix of emotions or when I see a picture of her, or when I just, or just think of her, something that I've been doing is just remembering how much fun we did have. Um, that's been something that's really been helping me. Like we were there together, you know, let's take this moment in time and let me reflect on what we were up to and how much fun we had. And we were just having a great time, even up until the recent times when she was pretty much just becoming a, a skeleton in front of me. Prior to that, you know, we were having even good times even at the hospital. You know, I was hanging out with her and, you know, just setting up, you know, I had a little pillow, my phone charger, and I had my little snacks and I was just hanging out. You know, we had our own room. You know, she didn't have to like share a room with another patient. So I was just hanging out on the, the vacant bed and I was just chilling, you know, we we're just chilling with her. So what I've been doing is just trying to have those memories in my mind. It's like, no, we were, we were hanging out. We were a team and just trying to allow some of those good memories to, uh, to come inside my body and just remember, you know, we were, I was there, you know, we, we had beautiful moments together because what was happening, the slightest thought I would have of her, I would just immediately just, just lose it. Just know like she's no longer here, she's gone, you know? And, you know, I wanna, I want to honor her a little bit more and just think of her in a better light, like, okay, the time that we did share, because we, I had had a lot of memories and, and time with her, I hung out with her, you know, spoke to her, and I was, I need to honor those things a little bit more, and honor the fact that she's at peace, you know, and honor the fact that, you know, she's in a better place and she's not suffering. So maybe that's something that you know, if you're going through it, when you when you find some old pictures or you go through the pictures on your phone remember the good things and cherish those good things and embrace those those good things that that you guys had embrace those good memories those fun phone phone calls um she would want that he would want that whoever you lost they would want that it's like okay embrace me you know not saying it's going to be easy but it's definitely not easy for me you know but i want to you know have to embrace her as well because i'd be a nut basket right right now you know, and every day, I don't know what type of emotional roller coaster I'm going to be on. Um, every day is a new day. Every day is just a new, I just have to just see. Um, but I do know what's been helping me. It's like when I, I have an image of her, when I think of her, and it's not saying it's going to just be all the time. You know, there's going to be times where, yeah, you're going to think of, of, of your loved one. I think of my mom and, and I do just lose it. And, but there's other times where I almost would laugh sometimes because I think of something funny that we did together or a joke she made or a joke I, I made on her. And I just hang on to that and grateful that I was able to have these moments with her because, you know, there's a lot of people who didn't have a chance to be with their loved one. You know, in my case, it was from beginning to end where, you know, I really stayed with her until the very end. So, you know, and I can hold on to that. And sometimes I need that. Sometimes I need to think about that. It's like, you know, I, I hope she was able to carry, and I know she did, she was able to carry that last memory that I was there with her uh, until the very end. And I never let, you know, let her, let her go. And I know she would want to, she would be happier if I'm happy in the sense that, hey, remember the good stuff. <laughs> you know, mourn and grief. And um, trust me, that's going to be a part of it. I'll be mourning and grieving for the rest of my life. And every day is going to be a battle. But hey, embrace the fun stuff we had. You know, think about the things that we did do together and, you know, those, those amazing memories. So I've been using that as well. And that's been helping me. So when you find those those pictures or you think of her or, you know, you look at pictures wherever, on your phone or your computer, Go for a second, just remember the good memory that that picture was associated with. You know, what were you guys up to? What were you guys doing? You know, how much how much fun were you having? And hold on to that, you know, especially on days where, you know, you're feeling dark and you're going in a dark, a dark space, you know, and you're feeling like you just wanted to give up, you know, don't, you know, 
they would want they want you to keep going. You know, my mother told me that, you know, because I, you know, the last couple of weeks, you know, I told her like, man, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to go go without you. You know, it's like you're you're the homie, you're the hero. And it was just like you you gotta keep going. Keep going, keep doing it. And that stuck with me. And I have to, you know, honor that. <laughs> you know, as it, it, hard as that is, and it's easier said than done, but I have to honor those wishes. She told me to keep going. She told me, you know, there's still work to be done for you. And I have to keep that in my head and replay that. Because what was happening, I was replaying just, you know, the the latter part of, of her, of how she looked and how she was feeling. And that part takes over a lot of times and, you know, seeing her in pain and things like that. So, you know, for me right now, you know, I'm holding on and making a conscious effort to like, no, let's think of the good things. Let's, let me cherish her. Let me embrace her, you know, in a positive way. So hopefully you guys will be doing the same, uh, whatever, what you guys are dealing with out there, you know, just go out today and utilize today and think of the good stuff, you know, think of the good memories, the good energy and allow that to, you know, take over as, as much as it can, you know, I know, I know, I know. And it's something that I'm working on myself and it's going to be a difficult road. And, you know, there's days where it feels like it's getting more difficult, but I know when it gets a little overwhelming, I have to go back to a positive, a positive place. Even now with going to work out, it's like that's another place where, you know, it's a bit of my therapy. And you know, like I said before, you know, she saw me one day, I haven't seen her in a while. I, I forgot where I was coming from. I was on a trip and she was just like, okay, you're looking a little fat there. And I was just like, oh, okay, enough said. All right, I'm back on it, back in the gym. So, you know, things like that. So I'm gonna go work out right now and channel that energy. You know, and the pain and the suffering, that's going to have to be a fuel, you know, for us to keep going and to keep pushing and to keep reaching this a new level. So on that note, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Always new videos coming up soon. And come on, let's stay positive. Let's, we're going to get through this. Talk to you guys later.